start. Start. So uh, let me explain uh, the idea of uh, platelet-rich plasma injection subendometrial. I call it SPRP, subendometrial injection of PRP, because PRP have proved the value for improving the weak endometrium and cases of fatal IVF. So how to deliver the PRP inside the trunk cavity? There are two ways, either just simple infusion or installation of PRP, same like an IUI, and the PRP will be uh, touching the endometrium, and uh, most of the literature agreed so far that it improved the quality of the endometrium. The mechanism of action is uh, many theories, but uh, my technique or my idea is to deliver the PRP subendometrial, same like you put subcutaneous injection. How to do this? I use the office hysteroscopy set, and this is the inflow channel, outflow channel, and that's the operative channel, okay? So using the oven pickup or the egg collection needle that we use in uh, IVF to be inserted through this operative channel like that, obvious? This is the prepared PRP. Uh, there is no standardization how much PRP is injected. Some people say from half ml up to four ml. I make um, as a reserve about four ml and uh, uh, injecting half to one ml on each of the trine wall. So this is how to inject the PRP. Can you focus on the needle here? This is the needle, all right? So this needle goes sub-endometrial back again to me and to inject all around uh, the endometrium. The value and effect of PRP is not long acting, it's only for one or two cycles, cut.